course, there were plenty of big headlines that came out of the Berkshire meeting this weekend. Maybe the biggest, though, was an inadvertent one. In response to a question about whether the company would eventually be too complex to manage, Berkshire Vice Chairman Charlie Munger made the comment that, on the surface at least, wasn't all that surprising. Well, but that's but, absolutely true. But I would say this, decentralization won't work unless you have the right kind of culture accompanying it. Yeah, but we do. Yeah, we do. But, and but Greg it's dependent is, on it. And, I Greg mean, will, and Greg will keep the culture. It seemed like a simple enough comment that Greg will keep that culture. But for careful Berkshire watchers who have been wondering about succession planning at Berkshire, well, once the chairman and CEO Warren Buffett's no longer in charge, it spoke volumes. Online speculation immediately ramped up that the top job would go to Vice Chairman Greg Abel, who currently runs all of the non-insurance operations. I spoke with Warren Buffett this weekend after the meeting and can confirm that is the current thinking among Berkshire's board of directors. The directors are in agreement that if something were to happen to me tonight, it would be Greg who would be taking over tomorrow morning. That's what Buffett told me. He praised both Abel and Vice Chairman Ajit Jane, who runs all of Berkshire's insurance operations. Both of them had been seen as in the running for the top job since they were promoted to vice chairman of the company back in 2018. Buffett also said, if, heaven forbid, anything happened to Greg tonight, then it would be a jeet, adding that their age is a determining factor for the board right now. Abel's 59 and Jane is 69. Buffett said they're both wonderful guys, but he said the likelihood of someone having a 20-year runway to be in the CEO job does make a real difference to the board. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.